which is worth coming to Bergen for, to be perfectly honest. Hey, travel lovers. Welcome to A Wanderlust for Life, the channel that shows you European gems, your food, and memorable experiences. Today, we are in Bergen, Norway. And yes, if you've been following the channel for a while, we've been here before, but this time we're gonna show you five dishes you have to have while you're here, and these are local recommendations. So let's get eating. most excited about our first stop. We are here at Bakker Brun, and we are here at the original one in the Brugge area. So this is like the really colorful buildings along the water. And we have a Schilling's Bola, and this is basically a cinnamon bun with sugar on top. And this is very Bergen, like this is traditional Bergen, and this is the place that you get these. And it's called a Schilling's Bola because it used to cost a shilling. But because I'm absolutely obsessed with cinnamon, this is like what I'm most excited about today. And you get that first. So let's try it out. I'm always like, I always want the middle bit. Are you guys like that? You always like want to eat the middle part of a cinnamon bun, but I'll be good and I'll try the outside first. But look how big this is. Not quite <laughs> as big as my face, but close. It's very soft. I expect it to be like a little harder. So this is just the end piece. So there's not actually a lot of cinnamon on this one. So I'll probably try the cinnamon a little bit for you. I want to say it's quite yeasty. It's very uh, soft. You can see it's very squishy and it just tastes like a very good roll. Like, so it's a little bit sweet um, and a little yeasty, but I do want to try the cinnamon. Okay, now you see the cinnamon. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. It's not that cinnamony. Okay, I actually want to dump cinnamon on top of it. No, what? No, so there's a reason they were, you're only allowed to have a certain amount of cinnamon per okay. day. So people were eating too many, or per week, people were eating too many of these ones, so they had to reduce the amount of cinnamon. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Okay, so my friend Sylvia is behind the camera, and you'll see her at the next dish, but she was just telling me it doesn't have a lot of cinnamon because in the old days people were eating too much cinnamon, so they had to reduce the amount. So you still had a cinnamon bun, but it's not very cinnamony. So there's your historical fact for the day. I wanted to let you know that if you want all of these tips in a really easy format to like carry with you, I have a link down below so that you can basically get the Bergen guide of all the places that I've been and maybe some that I haven't gotten to yet, but it's really high on my list. So I'll leave the link down below for you guys. It's called Thatch and um, I love the interface and I think you're going to as well. Sausages, please. Yes. Yeah, of course. This first one. <laughs> Number two on our list today is here at, I'm gonna say it wrong, just bear with me on this, is Trey Kroner. And we are going to have the reindeer sausage. I almost called it a hot dog. I guess you call it a hot dog. Um, and I have mine topped with lingonberry sauce and fried onions. Typically it comes with mustard as well. My friend Sylvia will tell you how that is because she's joining me and I'll tell you more about her stuff because you'll want to check it out if you're coming to Norway. But I'm going to try the reindeer first. I have no idea what to expect for this. I think this is very good. Like the flavor is amazing. Like it just, I'm trying to figure out how to describe it. It's almost like a combination between beefy and porky with some, you know, spices in it. And if you watched my video from Helsinki, the Christmas market, we actually had some reindeer soup there. Um, that was my friend Edna and actually she and my friend Sylvia are friends too. So it's a happy world <laughs> eating reindeer everywhere. Um, but this is definitely delicious. If you like mustard, definitely recommend <laughs> Get the mustard. There's a pigeon just waiting for me to drop some food. They're attacking us. They're attacking. <laughs> and now I'm going to let Sylvia tell you uh, how she likes it with mustard and how she likes her Norwegian hot dogs. But if you're coming to Norway, her blog is like the place to go. It's heart my backpack because she's covered basically the entire country. Um, but now she'll try it. <laughs> yeah, it's delicious. It's, it is fun with a reindeer hot dog. This is I mean, it is quite a touristy thing to eat. And Norwegians probably aren't gonna have this every day, but Norwegians do really love their hot dogs. 
Um, and we love hot dogs with mustard, ketchup, and crispy onions. Or sometimes some people will eat shrimp salad on their hot dog. That's very Norwegian. Is it very delicious? Um, it's co controversial. For our next dish, we have come to this lovely old restaurant and I brought my friend Lisa with me. And so she's gonna actually introduce the restaurant and what we're having tonight. Yeah, so we're right now we are in uh, Bryggelofte, which is the oldest restaurant in Bergen. And it opened in 1910 and it's actually been run by the same family since then. So that's really cool. Yeah, yeah. and uh, they uh, obviously when you're in Norway and in Western Norway, you have to try the fish soup. And here at Bryggelofte, they have their very own special recipe that's called the Bergen fish soup. And they won't share it, so I don't actually know why it's like more what? unique than some of the other fish soups you can find here in town. Like but makes it special? Yeah, okay. no one knows, but it's the, the special Bergen fish soup. All right, well, I'm really excited because after um, being in Bergen before, I know that they do fish very well, so let's give it a, give it a try. Oh, I think there, is there like crab in here or something? I think so, yeah. Oh, it's so like I, extra special. Selection of goods. It's very creamy. It has like a, a chowder kind of smell, like if you're uh, American. It is very chowder-esque, but like the, the bit that I got, it was almost like a small scallop or something. Mm -hmm. I don't know if that's, if there's scallops in here, but the flavor is really good, not very overpowering. So I feel like as an American, you might expect like to want to put salt and pepper in it, but don't like just eat it how it's supposed to be eaten because it's like a, it's a taste of Bergen. I it think is. Is, a, is a fair thing to have and you want to taste the most authentic things that you can get while you're here. So definitely get the fish soup here. Yes. Is there anything else you'd recommend at this restaurant? At this restaurant, the steak is amazing and especially their re the reindeer steak. So they have a fillet of reindeer that's also like a local favorite. We had the reindeer hot dog earlier. You did? Yeah. yeah. And if um, you're coming to Bergen, I've already introduced my friend Sylvia, but if you're coming to Bergen or Norway, also um, Lisa has her website, Fjords and Beaches, so you'll want to check that out as well. But we're going to enjoy this, and we have a couple more dishes coming up for you, so it's it's going to be a good foodie video. <laughs> Next up, we are at Bien Bassar, and this is one of the most recommended restaurants here in Bergen. And I am starting up with Harsha Torsk. I'm probably not saying that right, but it's kind of close. And it is cod and it's been cured for two days with salt and sugar. Um, it's like a big thing to have here. And in here we have some mushy peas and I think some cabbage and some potatoes. And we even got some red wine. It's a lighter red wine because I also got uh, something a little bit more meaty and I thought it would go great with the fish and the meat, but this place is so beautiful and I cannot wait to dig in, but I wanna show you the other dish first. And for some reason, only on Thursdays you can find this. This is Raspa Baller and it is like um, braided potatoes with flour, stuff like that, like a, like a dumpling type thing with like salted meat and we have a sausage here. Um, but yeah, you'll only find it on Thursdays and I need to look into why and if I find out I'm gonna put it in the description below because um, It is luckily Thursday today. So we are here and we are gonna dig into this. So let's see how it tastes Let's see Great, I got just a little bit of the ball and a little bit of the salted meat instead of the sausage because it was just easier It's nothing fancy, but it's so good it is literally a potato dumpling with like a salted ham type thing. At least that's what it tastes like. Very good, very, very hearty. Um, but yeah, I just love how they make it kind of into a fancy dish. And there's definitely some bacon in there as well. I don't know that it normally comes with a sausage, but it does here. But now um, I'm really excited to try the fish because cured with salt and sugar, that sounds super interesting. Actually topped on this is trout roast. I'm gonna to try to get a little bit of that in my piece of fish. I'm so curious about this. Like cured with salt and sugar. Oh, and there's a burr sauce with buttery goodness. Yes, very much so. So buttery goodness with some salmon roe and cured fish. Oh my God, that is so good. 
Like, it's like a little salty, but not really. And of course, the roe adds like that pop of flavor, like this, the sea watery kind of flavor. And it's not really sweet, but it's like you can tell that it's a little salty, a little sweet. That is so cool. And this is one of the restaurants that excel at this. So if you come to Bergen, this is where you get this dish. The, the dumpling you can get in different places as long as it's on a Thursday, but this, you need to come here for this one. So um, yeah, this is just, this is worth coming to Bergen for, to be perfectly honest. The weather has been a bit of a whirlwind here in Bergen. It's been like rainy and misty, um, very, very sunny, and it just started snowing. This is so cool. Now, I've talked to the locals, it's not gonna stick, but I'll take it because I love seeing snow. There's different things to do in the summer versus the winter, and because I'm here in the winter, and last time I was here in the summer, so definitely check that video, and I'll leave that down below for you but just walk as much as you possibly, possibly can because it is such a beautiful place. There's great restaurants and bars and shopping and just stunning beauty all around. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoy this video, give it a like, subscribe if you aren't already. And if you want to join our community, I'll leave the link to Patreon right here. Thank you again and I'll see you next time. Bye.